Hello Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. This is a general reading for the remainder of March. Let's see what is coming on here for you. We're gonna start out with Kyle Gray and we have be devoted and committed. Okay, what is coming on here for you? Sage, I love that. There's an old, beautiful, wise man here. A lot of wisdom here that is sitting very rooted and feeling very grounded, bountiful and plenty, plenty of wisdom that you are carrying. So be devoted and committed to your own growth. Be uh, devoted and committed. You are a sage. You're somebody who can teach others. It's because you've learned a lot yourself. And this is when you are able to help others. We do have the peacock feather. The peacock is also the opening of the third eye as you're seeing right here too. So there's a lot of third eye awakening as I'm seeing. And it looks like he is scripting, writing. So what are you writing? What are you uh, scripting? You're being devoted and committed to whatever it is that you are bringing forth through the third eye onto this leaf. So onto paper, pen to paper is a message I'm getting, pen to paper. So let's see. Um, that was the call, great angels and ancestors. Next, we have the cat, ta cat tarot. And this is a gift that my son gave me, first time that I am using it. Let's see, we're gonna take three cards here that are coming out, and we're gonna pick, here we go, the first card out. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So in the past, we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Then we also have the Four of Pentacles. So, okay, what is turning here from, um, from within your um, your own reality. I'm gonna put these back because there's too much, but let's see. So this one turned around. Ah, your own card wanted to show up. The death card showed up, but it showed up with the queen of pentacles. It was only taking three, but I'm just gonna show you. So we'll just take that as the bottom of the deck. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what we've got going on here for you. Like I said here, between the four of pentacles, so, the Wheel of Fortune in the past is about, you know, turning the wheel, turning the wheel um, on your life, on your direction, instead of going round and round and round again and again and again in the same direction. So it's about you learning the lessons like the sage, you're being devoted and committed to leaving what? You're leaving this rat race behind as you learn that you're rolling with the punches, you're going and you're going, but at some point you're getting off that wheel, that circular wheel going again and again. Sometimes though, you may feel you know, that you're at top of the wheel and other times you may feel that you're at the bottom of the wheel. But what this is saying right now is representing with the bowl being filled with water, that there's plenty for you to experience and to keep going, to keep moving. And it's about you trusting in opportunities that are here for you. So there's many upsides on this wheel that is turning again and again and again. So it's asking you to really look at what direction do you want to go in? Then we're looking at with the four little fish, with the four of pentacles in this card here, and the four of pentacles is about the things that you're seeking that you want, you know, which fish do you want to eat? Which one is looking good? Which one is feeling secure? Which one looks pretty stable? Which one looks pretty yummy to you? Which one are you gonna treat yourself? And these are the treats that are here for you from the wheel turning. So it's like it's eating the treats, but are you gonna eat them? Or it's something you have earned. Are you just gonna look at them? So what is feeling good for you? And that is a question. We come to the card of death. You're vacuuming out life. You're doing a clearing in the future. There is a death of the old, a death of the past. What is being released from you by you? Maybe here, again, being devoted and committed to turning a cycle in your life, you know, and looking at, you know, the work that you have done, what it's brought, and now you're clearing out. So what do you need to let go of? What is there a death for you? Again, it is asking you that question so you can have a better understanding of what this death card is here to tell you. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull the Druid's card because again, what I want you to see here, 
with, with this death, it, I want to go back to it because I'm, I'm seeing these little paws in the sun. The sun always comes up, Scorpio. This is your card. What this is talking about is when you cleaning up any problems of the past, you're going to bring in a new sun, new growth with the queen of pentacles, having plenty again, because this came out with that. And it was a reminder for me to go back and look at it. The queen of pentacles is talking about, it's like a maze. This, this cat's fingers is all around. Now the queen, she is very, very, very blessed. The queen is incredibly nurturing and very strong, loving and creative. She's very successful to what thanks to why? Because her paws, the way she approaches things, you know, she's very delic delicate here. So it's just saying, you know, it's about time for you to treat yourself out of the maze at this time too, and really look at what are you bringing a clearing to. So as we're picking up, okay, there's a few cards I just wanted to jump out. So let's go ahead and take them. We have um, the C, we have travel. I'm going to take it in the way that it came out. Okay. It came out in this way. We have air of the corn, harvest accomplishments. So that makes a lot of sense. Again, you're devoted and committed in turning the wheel. You've worked hard here, Scorpio, and it's time for you to see the fruit of your, um, of your labor, what you have done. So you're also turning a corner again. This one comes out with courage and sacrifice. Yeah, what have you had to sacrifice um, with um, Boudicca here? You know, the courage. What have you had to have the courage to leave behind? What have you had the courage to do? Again, there's a lot that is happening with the Four of Pentacles because this is about, you know, when is sacrifice a little thing? Again, as we're looking at that, you know, there was a lot that was sacrificed to be there, to have a death for you to become into the queen of pentacles. So when this card is coming up, it's just asking you to really look at, you know, your despite your sacrifices, despite your struggles, you know, you've had the courage and the strength to survive, to what, to have a death after the loss. And then it's asking you to what, to go to the sea. I love this card, travel, explore, explore, exploring life. And that is what it's all about. So taking a timeout, some of you could be, this just came to me taking ashes out to sea. That's another no. But for some of you, it's a death. It's a transformation of your hard work and really recognizing that all that you have sacrificed and it's now time for you to really, if, if for you to just go on a voyage for yourself, for you to really take a time out, to, to really look at the next stage of your life. What is it that you want to do? So whether this is physical, whether it's mental, whether it's emotional here, there is a death, there is a change that is on the horizons within your life happening in March here for you. So just enjoy the journey and take full advantage of the opportunities that are here for you because you have earned it. Let's see another message from the Colette Baron. Uh, the spare animal that wants to come out here for you. And um, we do have, it again came in reverse, but give with gratitude and grace. So when the turkey number 61 comes in a reversal, don't forget about gratitude because gratitude is all there is. And when number 61 comes out, I'm gonna go directly to the protection message. And this card says, are you giving in order to receive in kind, keeping tally of how much you have given and what is owed you? This is not the way to experience abundance. When turkey spirit is in protection position, it is a reminder to let go of any perception of scarcity or fear that if you give too much, you will not have enough for yourself. Use your spiritual practices to reconnect with spirit and remember how it feels to embody abundance and you will give as much as is needed right now. Know that whatever you need to fill your stores is coming to you right now. Love, prosperity, knowledge, and assistance from allies who are everywhere and want you to be the abundance you seek. Turkey Spirit is here to tell you that everything 
evens out when you're aligned with the law of abundance. A spirit wants you to be. Abundance is yours. And we're clearly seeing that. What you had to sacrifice between the four of pentacle with the death. And now this has come back to you. So there's no need in feeling that anymore. It's about now just giving gratitude and turning this upright and just living from that place of giving because you know that spirit has your back. Until next time, sending so much love, so much light. Namaste.